as seen under a much higher power microscope as seen using electron microscopy, using an electron microscope. So we're going to draw a diagram now, just like the first diagram we drew, of a generalized animal cell. And we're thinking about human cells, so generalized human cell. Generalized mammalian cell, anyway, they all look much the same. Uh, they are different chemically, obviously, but they look much the same uh, in terms of structure, morphologically. So we're going to look at a generalized animal cell as seen under the light microscope and look at how it is composed. And again, build up the diagram with me, draw it with me. So again, generalized outline to the cell. But now when you look at the cell membrane, it appears to be in two layers. This is because of the arrangement of the molecules that make it up. It's actually referred to as a phospholipid uh, bilayer. I'm not going to do that amount of detail at the moment. We'll come on to that later on. But it's still called the cell membrane. So there's still a cell membrane. Still a cell membrane. And uh, there's still a nucleus inside as well. And again, now the nuclear membrane can be seen to be in two layers. And now it's possible to see that the small gaps in the nuclear membrane. So a nuclear membrane in much the same way as in the light microscope, but more detail can be seen. It's still the nucleus inside the nuclear membrane. Now this time, much more detail can be seen in the cytoplasm of the cell and individual organelles can be identified. Remember, the organelles are the structures in the cytoplasm. So, for example, one group of organelle that can be seen, the sort of sausage-shaped, and they've got an infolded membrane inside them. Fold, infolded membrane to facilitate a large surface area. Now, sometimes if they're, it depends on the, the, the way the cell is sectioned. Sometimes you see them along the way and you get a long-shaped uh, structure. Other times uh, you, they're sliced across the way like this and you don't see the sausage shaped. But they are sausage shaped, just that it's lying in and out of the plane. And these sausage shaped structures, found in various parts of the cytoplasm, or with infolded membranes like this. And these are referred to as mitochondria. So mitochondria, sausage-shaped structures in the cell membrane. Now, in between the organelles, um, <clears throat> there's areas where you can't see very much, again, just like under light microscopy. And this is now known to be a, a more fluid medium in, in between the uh, structures. Um, well, it's not really fluid, but uh, it's given a name anyway, and it's called the cytosol. So this area here is called the cytosol. The cytosol is this area in between the organelles and the mitochondria. Sorry, cytosol. C-Y-T-O-S-O-L. 
cytosol. Now, it's also seen that there's a very large network inside the cytoplasm of the cell. And this uh, network covers a very large area of the cytoplasm, in fact. It's uh, very extensive. And uh, this extensive networking is referred to as the endoplasmic reticulum. The endoplasmic reticulum, extensive networking inside the cytosol comprising the cytoplasm. Now, some of this endoplasmic reticulum is uh, seen to be smooth, like this. The walls of it are smooth. But other areas of it look rough. <coughs> and uh, they look rough because there's lots of little bits on it, like this. N knobbly, nodule-type structures. on the endoplasmic reticulum. Now, if the endoplasmic reticulum contains these uh, knobbly bits, it's referred to as a rough endoplasmic reticulum. And if it doesn't contain these knobbly bits, it's referred to a smooth endoplasmic reticulum. So the endoplasmic reticulum may be rough or smooth. It's rough if it contains these um, knobbly bits, and it's smooth if it doesn't. A very simple distinction. And what these knobbly bits are is they're actually an organelle in their own right, as we'll see later, a very important one. And they are, in fact, called ribosomes. So a smooth endoplasmic reticulum is made rough by the presence of ribosomes. That's a ribosome, that's a ribosome, that's a ribosome, that's a ribosome, that's a ribosome. Lots of little ribosomes making smooth endoplasmic reticulum rough. Another structure that can be seen are vesicle bound um, structures with a fluid inside them. You usually see a few of these if you look carefully inside the cell, in different places in the cytoplasm. And these structures are referred to as lysosomes. lysosomes. Lysosomes, another organelle found in the cytosol. Other structures that you can see, if you look carefully, there's two spindly-like structures in the cytoplasm, and these are referred to as centrosomes. Centrosomes, small, spindly-looking.